So there's always a question when I have a patient who is maybe early 20s or early 30s, why do I get colon cancer? Because in patients in that young age, we cannot really relate the development of colon cancer to lifestyle or diet. So what is the reason that young patients develop this disease? Well, we have learned over many years that there are familial forms of colon cancer. We have genetic predispositions which lead to development of colon cancer as early as teenage years. So there is a genetic uh, um, the, um, predisposition called familial adematosis polyposis. This means these patients develop thousands of polyps in their colon and at all of these patients would develop colon cancer. Now, how can we deal with that? Well, there is now a surveillance. We can screen for that. It's very easy to identify them. And what we usually recommend that these young patients with 16, 17 undergo a removal of their colon. And that prevents the development of colon cancer. Now, this is not the only form of genetic predisposition, there is another familial form, which is called HNPCC, standing for hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. Now, this is a mutation in DNA mismatch repair genes. And how do we identify this patient in our clinics? Now, these patients can develop colon cancer in the 30s and 40s, now, usually these tumors are located on the right side of the colon. Under the microscope, they usually look poorly differentiated and there seems to be more females than males. But an easy clue that there may be a genetic predisposition in the family is of course your family history. Now, it's very important to know a genetic predisposition for colon cancer does not mean it's only colon cancer. It can travel with other cancers. Any cancer in your family, of course, colon cancer is important to discuss with your physician, but ovarian cancer, endometrium cancer, gastric cancers, and many others belong to this genetic predisposition. So it's very important to really discuss your family history with your physician. Any patient under the age of 50, right-sided colon cancers, family histories of these cancers mentioned, need to be evaluated by a genetic counselor or geneticist to make sure you undergo genetic testing to understand if you have a predisposition. Why is that important? Two reasons. One, Patients with genetic predisposition do overall much better. They have very different clinical causes. They have a different metastatic pattern. They usually do not travel to liver and lung. So certain treatment options may be looked differently. And second, if we can screen your family, identifying the patients who carry the predisposition, we can 100% prevent colon cancer in these families. So I think it's very important to be aware of your family situation and discuss that with the oncologist and possibly with a genetic counselor or geneticist. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to mycoloncancercoach.org.